welcome if you're new. Hope you're gonna stick around. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe at the end of this video or before if you want to. I'm happy with either. And if you're one of my OGs, welcome back, gang. Hope you've had a good week. So this morning, Lawrence, poor Lawrence, is yet again out watching football. He's taken William. He's playing it in a away game today, I don't know where. Um, but at least he's not refereeing. I watched um, last week's vlog and I don't know what referee, ref couldn't say it, refereeing, <laughs> in case you missed it. If you, if you did, go back and have a look. <laughs> What's those false teeth I've got? Anyway, and uh, Josh was playing, I think, around lunchtime. So um, I'm trying to sort of get on top of the housework. Not clean the table. I'm going to give you a super quick turn around so you can see what's going on. But uh, I'm working on some secret projects. So stick around. In December, you're going to see some nice Christmassy stuff. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Sneaky peek. Hold on. Okay, that's enough of that. And no pause in the video so you can see what's going on. Don't spoil the surprise. <laughs> okay, I'll catch up with you either later in the day or in the week. Sorry, I didn't film all week. Put my back out last Friday. And I just got worse and worse. But I'm just on the border of Amsterdam. It's a new MRI centre. And I'm having a breast MRI. Hopefully to... Uh, get to the bottom of what these lumps are. Okay, done. Oh, I feel really tired now. Actually, this is really weird. I, I, I felt dizzy, like really like a lightheaded, dizzy, like faint kind of dizzy. I'm okay now, I just feel really tired. I've never had that before with an MRI, that was so weird. But um, I had to lie down on my front and then imagine like a massage table. So my head was like in this hole and then my boobs were through some more <laughs> so, it's very strange and um i was a bit concerned at the beginning because um you know i've got this really bad back and uh when she said you have to lie in the front i was you can see me the sun's bright i was really concerned but in actual fact it felt nice i was sort of lying upwards on a slope hold on i'm gonna put my sunglasses on directly facing the sun which isn't ideal so I'm on the way home now and then uh, nothing planned for the rest of the day but tomorrow morning my friend Link is arriving from the States just picking Lynn it's really busy here but she's uh, arrived early so uh, luckily we don't live too far from the airport so that weather forecast wasn't very accurate. I had a check last night. Sunny and uh, bouts of cloud. Mm -hmm. no, it's grey and raining. There's no sun. <laughs> Hopefully it clears later. <sighs> Actually the rain does seem to be easing off a little bit, fingers crossed. So um, I didn't do any filming with Lynn. We were, you know, we were so busy uh, we were catching up with everything and which was really good for and reminiscing. <laughs> so nice and it was so nice for the boys to meet her because you know she's met them but they don't remember her you know they were too small but they know her girls so it was nice like they finally sort of met the, the girl's mum in the um, in uh, a real life so that was fun and uh, we just stayed home Lawrence actually made um, hamburgers just a really simple dinner and uh, it was nice so I'm on the way to the hospital. The urologist uh, called me quite late last night. Strange hours. It was great, but it was got a bit of a scare actually. It's not very often the hospital phones you at like, you know, it was like 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Well, I'm not here anyway, it's not usual. So she said the um, P test that I did a few weeks ago was clear. But I said, yeah, I'm a bit concerned because I've had this back pain now for um, a week. It's a week now I've had it. And um, all this sort of um, anti-inflammatory, like muscle kind of pain relief I've been taking and not touching it. However, when I take things like paracetamol, I think it's Tylenol in the US. When I take that kind of thing, it sort of takes the edge of it, which makes me think I've not pulled a muscle. If I'd have pulled a muscle, which I doubt, I doubt it, I really doubt it. 
then you know the anti-inflammatory stuff would give some kind of relief so she said it well it could be that maybe i've not got a bladder infection I might have a kidney infection because i'm also um increasingly getting headachey and my temperature has started to sort of get like little bouts of it rising not like running the temperature but I'm definitely sort of getting a raised temperature <sighs> so anyway she's left a note uh, she's left me some paperwork I have to put in another test not sure if I need a blood test or not I hope not and um, then I'll make a telephone appointment for the results but in the meantime she's given me some antibiotics um, as a standby because you know obviously it's Friday and I don't want to be you know take a turn for the worse and uh, I haven't got access to the, um, the specialist so we'll see I'm coping at the moment and then um, for the rest of the day we're, me and Lynn are going to take the bus into Amsterdam gonna have a walk around uh, we're not doing like a shop or anything you know big uh, she just so Lynn used to live in Amsterdam for quite a few years actually I think she's about I don't know, five years four or five years I think I can't remember um, so we're just going to have a walk around, check out what's changed, visit some of her favourite um, places. There's like this really sort of famous um, like Belgium chip shop, like Fritz Fritjes, that the tourists seem to love. And then Lynn said, oh, we have to go and have the Belgium fries. So I think that's what we're doing for lunch, which would be nice. I hope this rain stops. I hope that weather forecast I checked last night is actually going to deliver. Otherwise, I'm not going to be very happy with you, AccuWeather telling me lies <laughs> anyway I'm almost at the hospital so ugh, let's get this over with quickly from uh, this, this chip shop called Flemings and all the tourists flock here it's really really good fries and the bar across the way kindly lets you sit and eat your fritz your chips if you buy beer from them so we've stopped for chips and beer and it's really really nice and we've done a bit of shopping walked around I'm gonna finish up here and then I think we're gonna get on the bus and go to another area that Lynn uh, needs to like when she lives here to um, put away some of the stuff that I bought so I'll just quickly show you so from Sustran Green it's not very exciting but I've got some napkins I don't know less than two euro it's quite nice like this gold and teal colour uh, but these cute little Christmas trees for some decorations and then they had these really nice little rings I think I'll probably make some wreaths with these and these were one euro 24 super super cheap oh and I bought this little cute Christmas tree cutter I think it was like 35 cents and what else oh, yeah, I bought some felt for crafting and then uh, and I can't show you other things because they're gifts and then we quickly popped into Primark and from Primark I bought, oh, I bought this nice velvet cushion for the bed, six euro, really nice. And one of these that likes a lot of cushions on my bed, much to Lawrence's annoyance. And then at night I just throw them all off and then arrange them all again. Uh, anyway, but they had these really cute, like little dishcloths. So I got them for Christmas to make the kitchen Christmassy. Two euro for five cloths. Uh, I bought some tea lights, soft. So this is cashmere and vanilla flower. This smells so good. 
they're like this nice soft greyish tealy colour and then in the same scent I bought this uh this scented room sachet uh one euro fifty bargain and then oh and I bought like this um like a uh foliage uh pick for some decoration two euro fifty because uh, I was thinking now I can cut them off and put them on the wreath. I'll show you what to do with that at some point. So that's it. So Lynn and I were exhausted. We walked the whole of the um, the Calverstrat, which is like the main sort of high street in Amsterdam. And then as you saw, we went for those Belgian fries. So Lynn was super happy. And then um, we, so on the way home, we stopped at her the neighbourhood that she lived in. And then we went to her old apartment and um, looked like crazy stalkers who were looking in the windows. <laughs> Nobody saw us. <laughs> Took some photos, uh, had a coffee, and then uh, we just got home. We actually, we got the, um, we ended up getting the metro, right, the tram. And Lawrence picked us up from there. And we're so tired. So um, I think we're just going to order Indian takeaway tonight. So no cooking and just relaxing probably early night so anyway at that point i'm gonna wrap up this week's weekly vlog and um hope you've enjoyed it um hope you've all had a good week when you're joining me and um wishing you a fantastic week ahead but stay tuned because there's going to be another vlog coming um quite quickly there's a little announcement i'm going to make so anyway thanks again for joining don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment below let me know you're out there and you're watching and share whatever you'd like to or ask questions. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. So see you in the next vlog. Bye.